Toodly do hippies. Welcome to another episode of Lionfish. Today I'm going to get to the chase. I'm going to tell you my top three lures for catching peacock bass and damn near everything else that bites in the water, at least here in South Florida. But I'm sure these lures will work uh, elsewhere as well. So to start it off, we're going to go with my number one lure of all time. That is the Zero Z2. That's the uh, Baby Z2. This one here is the Smoky Shad. This is an amazing lure. I've caught everything from peacock bass to uh, Oscar to Mayan cichlid, um, hornet tilapia, regular tilapia. E everything eats this. Huge largemouth bass, even though it's only, uh, I think it's like uh, 3.75 inches total. This is uh, the best bait in the best color. I've ever used. It's extremely stretchy, so you can use it over and over again. I've, I usually just use one per day. I catch tons of fish with it, and it doesn't uh, tear apart or fall apart like your other soft plastics. A little tough to find, but this is definitely my number one go-to bait. And I rigged that with a VMC uh, jig head. I think this is a swimming swim bait jig head. Um, you've got all different kinds of weights you can use. I got the lighter one eighth ounce, and then I have uh, the uh, heavier ones that go up. I just keep three different sizes, depending on the depth of water I'm gonna fish. So just get you, start you off with like an eighth, a sixteenth ounce, and then uh, if you need to, a uh, uh, um, half ounce or a quarter ounce uh, should suffice for almost every type of fishing you're gonna be doing at any depth of water. Um, the next bait that I have, I have slammed some of my biggest peacock bass on this, and that is a rattle trap. This thing is amazing. I wouldn't go with anything too huge or too small, but one about a little bit bigger than the size of your thumb um, works just absolutely amazing. You can catch some crazy fish on this thing too. I've caught even one of my biggest hornet tilapia was caught on this thing. Um, I like the one that kind of mimicked the bait fish in the area. Um, I like this one particularly because it has a little chartreuse stripe going down the side of the red eye. This one's my like lucky to go to rattle trap. Um, yeah, that's all there's to say about that. Just pitch it out. You can let it hit the bottom and then just sweeping jig it up or you can just cast it and reel or drop it down in front of a fish's face and just jig it and they'll hit it. It's amazing. The third bait is one of my, that in my go-to on my tackle box is the live target twitch minnow. This thing is insanely realistic, super flexible, not quite as durable as the uh, Baby Z2 by Strike King, but it is stupid realistic. I mean, fish just devour this thing. I hook this thing the same way I do um, the Baby Z2, just put a jig head in it. I know you might be thinking it looks kind of stupid with the double eyes there, but I've never noticed a difference on this thing, uh, having a jig head on it. It's absolutely phenomenal. But well, those are my uh, top three baits for peacock bass. Um, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you want more. Have a good one.